Hey, my name is Phil from webautomation.co and in this video I want to talk about the InCharge webhook feature, which honestly has probably been the most exciting feature I've seen in an email marketing platform and the way InCharge is really laid out with these different types of flows you can create. It is probably one of the most satisfying and exciting tools I've seen. Now what I'm going to do is quickly show you what a webhook does. I'm also going to show you some different applications where you can use webhooks and it might trigger a few ideas for you. Now just before we get started with this video, if you haven't yet got InCharge and you're thinking about it, I've actually gone ahead and partnered with InCharge. You can get your first 50% off your first billing month. You also get a 14 day trial on top of that. And to sweeten it a little bit more, I've also created a bonus course that I'm going to give you. So you get all of this just for free by signing up to their 14 day free trial. No credit card required or anything like that. So if you haven't yet got in charge, go ahead and check it out. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do is connect this WordPress website, right? This is using the Elemental Page Builder. I'm going to connect this to in charge and it's extremely easy to do and how we do it is we create a brand new flow we use the receive webhook element like so click on it and then we have this webhook url so i'm going to go ahead click on copy then what you want to do is open up your elemental page builder if you want to use elemental make sure in actions after submit we have webhook selected if not it's really easy to do just click on the plus look for webhook and then under the webhook section we will have this url it won't be populated um, just yet mine was already there but i deleted it and all you need to do is paste in your new webhook code click on update and then once that's updated come back to in charge and then click on save i'm also just going to name this this can just be the um, webhook demo just to for personal reference actually might even add in a little label here in the form fields too just so we have reference so this can be webhook demo okay i'll update that one more time and now what you'll notice once you click save on in charge it's asking you to send some information through the webhook url so it can actually match it so what i'm going to do is come back i'm going to preview the page like so extremely fast and easy to do i'm going to type in a name here just to um, show you a bit of variance i'm going to put um, jonathan okay email can be hello plus three at uh, webautomation.com click on download free guide right and then if i come back to in charge you'll see it instantly receives the information we have here name we've got email and also the form name which you saw me rename is now webhook demo so what we do is that we click on continue and then we can either auto map the fields they're not always 100 percent right for example i only ask for first name but it gives me full name so i'm going to change it to first name just by clicking on it choosing the field same with email you just make sure that's right i'm not too worried about the form id but the form name webhook demo i actually want to have now if you want you can create new fields as well if you have multiple different things you're asking for inside of a form you can create as many fields as you want and it's going to add them like a crm but for me i created one a little while ago called subscribed into this just allows me to know what form they actually subscribed into so go ahead click on save and now your connection has been made and what you want to do next is actually start creating an automation workflow things like adding in weights you can add in emails you can build out emails you can tag people everything like that i generally start with a tag just so i know exactly where these people came from so for example if i just wanted to say call this the webhook demo click on create i've added that tag live click on save and now that is done now the last thing you need to do of course is name your flow so webhook demo turn it on and now every time someone comes in through this webhook they're going to be uh, added with this tag so what i'm going to do is now it's live i'm actually going to test it out um, and then we'll go into the next step which is actually sending a webhook after receiving one so it's pretty cool so what i'm going to do is go back to the landing page once again i'm going to preview it once again all right type in a name this one i'm going to put as jimbo okay just to keep it different all the time hello plus three at um, web automation okay okay click on download free guide like so right and if we come to the flow inside of here now the first one for some reason always takes like a couple of seconds longer than it should but as you can see it's already gone through 
it's usually within 10 seconds sometimes it could take a minute um, but most most of the time it's instant so if we click on it you can see that good old uh old jimbo over here has come through there's the email address okay so that's good so what we're going to do is click on plus now i'm going to scroll down to send webhook right because i've received the webhook i've got the information i've added the contact now i'm going to send it on so that this next software can actually use it so i'm going to continue without pausing right drag it in make it look nice and neat and then i'm going to click on send webhook now what it's asking for is a url once again just like we had on receive webhook so what i'm going to need to do is actually go into the third party software for this example it's going to be evidence and i've gone ahead and created a demo account um, so what i'll do is i'll edit that once again so this is it here so i'll copy the url which is uh, once again the webhook come back to in charge paste it in like so and it says here method post what does that mean it means you're sending out right the only opposite is like get and get means you're receiving it these three you don't need to worry about it's always usually just post or get post means sending it out which is what we want content type always leave it as json and then we come to webhook data now this is an important one this is where we actually choose what information is being sent now if you hover over it there is a little bit of uh, insight to what you can actually write inside of here and what we were really looking for is this tag right here okay so what i want you to do is first of all copy this tag here okay uh, and then come to add property it's going to say property name for me i'm going to type in first name and then for property value i'm going to click on paste all right so i'll just take away this little backspace so that's it that's going to be the first name that's going to be sent now interestingly this tag here where it talks about liquid tags it doesn't really take you to much information about the in charge tags it actually takes you to github so instead of doing that what i want you to do if you are interested in using the send webhook is actually come to google type in in charge liquid tags and then if you come to the first article it's going to give you a little bit of information but instead what i want you to do is click on this field management right this is a part some of the fields that you can create and then this api name down here this is all that you really need to understand okay so as we've got this person dot first name all we want to do is for example if this is going to be email i just wanted to copy that one more time person dot first name come into person fields and then i can see it's email so i'll take out first name and type in email and we need to make sure this is right so that the apis can actually connect so i'll go ahead click on save it's then going to ask me if i want to test so i'm going to type in here um, you type in the email address of someone that you've put through the funnel already so i'll put in hello um, plus three at web automation I'll take this first one right oh hello plus three okay jimbo and click on send test now if i go back to my um my webhook right here it should be listening and hopefully it can actually um, take away the field that i've just sent i might actually have to send it again i might have timed out it says here it's also received saying hey the webhook's been received but i'm going to do it one more time just to make sure okay so hello plus three at webautomation.co okay jimbo send them over and if we come here one more time we can now see we've got add a field if i click on that we've got first name jimbo and we've also got email if we need it for this software i just need the person's name so that's good i'm just going to leave it as that so that's got that's uh all i need for the software to actually work so basically what it means is every time it receives this webhook the information it's going to take is the first name and then it can go ahead and replace this little template so that's it working guys if we come back to flow click on save then this entire sequence is now live and every time someone uh, comes into this landing page once again this one here every time they put in their information they're going to be added and in inside of this flow they're going to get tagged and then they're going to be sent the webhook to the next third-party software which is going to extract their name and then add it to the 
um, little thing. So that's basically how the in charge webhook feature works. You can use it as many different ways as you want. If you have more than one third party software, you can also create multiple send webhooks with the right information that you need. The good thing about this tool is you can see how big this canvas can be. I think it's infinite. You can do so many different automation tasks inside of it. It's truly incredible. Anyway, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this in charge webhook demo. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And once again, if you haven't got started with in charge, I've left that link down in the description. It's going to give you 50% off your first billing month as well as a 14 day free trial, no credit card needed. And then finally, you're going to get a course that I've created just for you to help you get set up with in charge even faster. That's it from me. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.